Hi, Gloria Leibecker here with Healing You. I worked with a young man one time. It was rather, hmm, it was tough. I remember hearing him cry out in despair. I just want to kill myself. When you hear those words spoken in pain by someone that you care for, how do you feel inside? Does your stomach clench and spasm? Or does a semi-paralysis claim your whole body and your breathing nearly stops? How do you hold a space with love and support for someone when they're experiencing a primal response from the ever-present past of trauma? We may not be aware of a past trauma holding us back in the moment when we're triggered. Yet, in attempting to protect us, our hypothalamus and triple warmer they can lock us into an outdated defense strategy that rigidifies our, our habit field. It is not possible for a person to think clearly when the blood has left the forebrain and moved into the limbs for fight or flight. And even though many people know the kinds of change that they want to make, they find themselves unable to make change happen. Trapped in habits from the past, they may, may put tremendous effort into willing themselves to change patterns that are emotionally locked into their body. And this can increase their experiences of inner discouragement, cynicism, and self-loathing. Self-talk is not enough to change a primal response. However, there are energy techniques that can open your habit field for reprogramming. When your energies are freed for healing and creativity, your mind will follow. There are three approaches for reprogram reprogramming the habit field. And those are one, diffusing traumatic residue that's already in your habit field. Two, programming higher frequencies into your habit field. And three, evoking your habit field to embrace a new physiological or psychological pattern. Each time that you're able to keep the blood from leaving your brain as you process stress and or trauma, you're showing your brain a new strategy and your habit pattern begins to transform. As your body learns to tolerate increasing amounts of stress before invoking that fight or flight response, your sense of health and well-being will also increase. After I'd worked with this child to reprogram his stress response, I asked him, hmm, what is the most important thing you can remember to tell yourself when you notice stress is coming up. And he responded with warmth. I love myself. I am going to take good care of myself and my energy forever. When we take the time and we make the time in our lives to drop out of our busy world and our heads, and regularly receive support to focus our compassion and awareness on our body. Rather than distancing ourselves and treating our body as our enemy, we can learn to begin to cherish our body. And when we tune into our body's subtle cues with curiosity and care, we can understand the energies of our body and attend to its needs. And as we learn how to focus on our body's energies, we can begin to unravel deeply embedded patterns of stress and trauma, forming resilient patterns of well-being. To re receive accompaniment on your journey, please reach out to me at healingyousanctuary.com. And thanks for being on the journey with me here today, Healing You.